Well, here I am, folks. Once again, back on the old Indeed Flex treadmill. Oh, I did um, a hotel cleaning job two days ago in Liverpool, and that was a file. The seven hours of hell. The people there were just awful. <laughs> um, you know, some some are good, some are bad. And, the work was, you know, hard work. It really is hard labour. You have to work hard and fast. And there's one girl there who, I think, she, she said she recognised me from YouTube. And I think she probably videoed me. So you see a video of someone looking like me, looking sweaty and horrible. Looking knackered. <laughs> Stumbling about, scrubbing showers. Then you know that's me. Um, Anyway, I'm off to Chester this morning now. I've got a job in Chester, uh, another hotel job. This one's only six hours. The other one was seven hours. This one's six hours. It's not been free for me, this one. I've got to pay for the bus, the train, no buses today, for the train down, which I'm on my way to the train station now. Um, so it's going to cost me a tenner all in all. But, um, it's a hotel I haven't been to before, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this one goes okay. It's only six hours. Keep it in my head. These indeed flex jobs, they can be really, they're hard labour. Um, so anyway, going off to do this, and I'll let you know at the end of my day what it was like. <laughs> or not. I'll see you later. Can you hear the music? I'll turn the sound up louder if I can. See if you can hear it. Right by the window. Okay. It's gotten a bit louder, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. So that is the sound of this live event that's going on just down the road and that is a job that I've applied to do tonight and tomorrow night um, and it's a litter picking one. So I was thinking that the event was on all night but I think um, it it's on obviously through the day and then when we get there at five o'clock tonight it'll still be going on but we'll be giving being given we, we will be can't even say it. Uh, so I think we'll get instructions when we get there to how to clean and, and litter pick and where we're going and everything. So I think when we get there, the first few hours will be with it still going on. But then as it starts to empty out, that's when our job will really become busy where they're clearing up all the litter and just clearing it all away, heaving the sacks into, I don't know, incinerators or sticks or whatever. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting job tonight, but I was thinking it was like a night thing, but uh, no, obviously it will end at some stage, and we'll be doing the cleaning up after that, during that and after, so um, I'm hoping that I enjoy it, I hoping, I'm hoping that it will be good, um, and I'm hoping that I can actually deal with it, you know, the picking up the weight of stuff and chucking bags into sticks and things, so we'll see.
guys, this is Sunday morning after the event. Life, whatever it is, live Liverpool or something. Um, it was great, great. I mean, we, I got absolutely soaked. We all got absolutely soaked. One of the workers walked out really early, but I stayed till one. I'm back out here at nine. Got a full day of clearing up the crap, but I've really enjoyed it. So I don't know if you can see it. Look past the yellow dome, yellow and blue dome, and you just see all the crap there. Yeah, so let's rock, that's it. So that's all the crap we got clear up this morning. There's the stage back there, down there. So much crap to clear away. <laughs> Here till Christmas, I think. See you later. It's phenomenal the amount of work that goes in to building a stage and just a concert of any kind. It's just huge, isn't it? This is me. This is my caravan site here where I meet up with everybody and go home. End of the day. So guys, after a very long and hard look, 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 there's my crew badge. I have to wear that with my fluorescent jacket. It's my fluorescent jacket, I had to bring them home. And my gloves. But, yeah. So I've been two, doing two days and they've actually asked me to come for a third day and they're going to pay me themselves to be a litter picker. But you know, it is, it is a litter picker. We pick up everything and we go through the night, everybody's dancing and getting drunk and we're weaving in between everybody, picking up the can, empty cans and stuff. It's really good fun. It's really... So Nick Haywood was on and one of the Thompson twins of all, uh, the only two I can really, the famous that I can remember was on. But yeah, it was the uh, first uh, concert I've been to in years, so it was great fun. Although I wasn't at it, I was working at it, but even so, the the camaraderie and the working together was just brilliant you know so I was dancing with some other guards and to the music and it was just it was just it's just been a brilliant couple of days really enjoyed it I'm thinking of um, signing up to them they do all the shows they say they do Glastonbury and the guy said that I'm such a good worker he'd like me to join them and then I could go to Glastonbury with them and I thought oh yeah I'll do that so, um, yeah, so I might get that as a sort of agency work um, a couple of times a year or something. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I was in the, from five o'clock last night to one o'clock this morning. And then I was back in there um, from nine o'clock this morning. And it's now quarter to six. I finished at quarter past five and I've just walked home. I'm absolutely knackered. My body is aching all over. It's all that bending down picking fag ends up today it was just really really hard work absolutely knackered and they've asked me to go in tomorrow to help finish off so I said I'll try and get there somewhere by 10 um, but they said they'll pay me so that's good okay I'll catch you later so morning guys so just a quick catch up this morning um, I've had emails from Universal Credit because I've told them I've left my job and I'm told them I'm on zero our contract which I am with indeed flex I think that's how it works with zero contract you have some work but you don't know when so anyway I've had an email from them saying that I need to go and see them um, which I have to next week and then it also says that if I was um, sacked from my job or I left by choice sat well for my job oh yeah for something like bad behavior or something sat for my job for, for bad behavior something like that or if I've left um, on my own choice then they won't pay me any money so I already sort of knew that which is you know when I was saying that um, I needed to have two months money put away which I have so I'm gonna go and see them on Monday I'm gonna tell them I accept the fact that they won't be paying me because I have left by choice but my choice is to find a decent job um, now and continue working for the next few years um, so I'll go and do that and um, see how that goes so I will um, let you know 
how that goes when it happens. Okay, catch you later.